I'm Leanne Feldman, Surgeon in Chief of the McGill University Health Center. The COVID-19 pandemic has stretched medical resources throughout the world. We are faced with both equipment shortages and a lack of human resources. In these exceptional times, we may all be called upon to help with tasks that are not part of our regular practice. The McGill University Health Center has made this video to help us be better prepared to respond to the pandemic. Using appropriate personal protective equipment will help you avoid catching COVID-19 during patient care. In most cases, you can use standard contact and droplet precaution. These precautions are sufficient for clinical care of ambulatory patients and for inpatient outside of critical care area. Airborne precautions are required for patients in critical care areas and during aerosol generating medical procedures. The majority of patients with COVID-19 will have a self-limited mild illness. However, patients who can't ventilate, can't ambulate, or can't isolate require hospital admission. We should also admit patients at high risk of complications, including stem cell transplant recipients and those with poorly controlled HIV. Of course, clinical correlation and judgment are always indicated. All patients being admitted with suspected COVID-19 should undergo a chest x-ray and a nasopharyngeal swab for COVID-19 PCR. Don't test asymptomatic patients. Performing a nasopharyngeal swab is not an aerosol generating procedure. Note that COVID-19 samples cannot be sent through the pneumatic tube system. They must be carried manually to the lab. Care of patients with COVID-19 is primarily supportive. However, all admitted patients should be treated with ATP, i.e. acetaminophen, azithromycin, Tamiflu, and Plaquenil. However, if a patient has an abnormal chest x-ray, start ceftriaxone. And if the patient is immunocompromised or recently hospitalized, start tazosin instead of ceftriaxone. When admitting a patient, please refer to our two-page admission guide for a step-by-step -step approach. The COVID-19 pandemic will test us all in unprecedented ways. Working together, I have no doubt that we are up to the challenge. Please take a moment to review the resources in the links below. Hi, I'm Marcel Baer, Chief of Infectious Diseases, and I approve this message.